Yeah, I think again it their draft always like they, they, the mid late game they always have it secured and right now they don't have that. There is unless they want to change up their style and go for a more like mid game orientated hero, for example, like the monkey. I just don't see it. There's Anisha has to be on this 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 court this yeah, actual like carry, strange. especially because mid one's on a storm spirit. It's not like you can have like this duo call like a TA plus one. It's it's a storm, right? You yeah. need to have. Do you want a Do you want a spectre or? I want. I, yeah, I want some physical damage. I want some team fight. Maybe a Dusa. Dusa can work, but again, it's a little bit slow. Your yeah. storm wants to farm the jungle. Dusa wants good. to farm the jungle. Yeah. If your lanes go bad, the cores are going to be like farming over top of each other. So. Again, Secret might be able to pull it off, but yeah. I don't think it's the, one of the premium options. But a better life stealer. I still think PSG should go for a really active mid. This Quop, this Ember, someone who can just apply pressure. Even a Lina as well. Yeah, Lina would be nice, wouldn't it? Just, just, they just need some form of burst damage, so if they do get a stun onto the Storm, they can just blow him up and just move next. How's the, how's the Lina into the Storm? Perfectly fine, Lina's pretty, pretty decent. Oh, I forgot about this hero. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a hero. There's, there's another one. Yeah, that's another one. That's nice. a lot of push for LGG now. Yeah, that's, this is going to be really scary for Secret, especially the silence as well from Death Prophet. Storm, he's not going to have a fun time in these early fights. He has to be really uh, careful with his zips. Make sure he doesn't overextend and get caught by one of those silences. Yeah, for it's like real. Five up to eight seconds. Right? Insane. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Okay, well, there was a little wry smile in the corner of uh, Puppy's face when it came back to him after that. Go as, Naga. As, if, as if to say, Naga. I kind of thought they might do that, which means they may well have the hero picked already. If they need a, either a Spectre or a Naga. They need someone that can get on top of this Death Prophet. Oh, Medusa. Boring. No. <laughs> oh, so... Come on, Secret. That's Hello. the fun. Oh, this is going to be... All right, guys. Secret's going to sit back. The deuce is going to farm. Then they're going to eventually do their secret thing. Boo. <laughs> I'm not happy. Why did it a deuce? I did suggest it. You poo-pooed it. I did. And puppy I want me. fun, Dota. I, I want, want fun, Dota. This will be still fun. Look I'm at PSG's lineup. That's yeah. a fun lineup. Yeah, they're going to be hitting tier threes. And if they get it, cool. If they don't, the deuce is farming, so... I'm sure it's a good draft on either team. I'm just right. being a bit, I'm exaggerating here. No, it's a good pick. The deuce is very good. It's pretty good at kiting this way, so yeah. All right, I like it. Thank you very much, gents. Uh, let's move into game number one, ladies and gentlemen. VSL1 Birmingham's Championship Sunday. Three times in the DPC season, these teams have met up against each other. Secret and LGD at Kuala Lumpur. Secret took it 2-0 at Chongqing. It was LGD who took it 2-0 at MDL recently. Secret did come out 2-1. And then, of course, they tied in the group stage. So these two teams seem to be pretty evenly matched splits. They've played against each other at uh, an ESL, haven't they? Uh, I believe so. In the finals? I don't think this season. I thought we casted them uh, last season. It ended up going 3-2. to two. It was the game where uh, Zai did the blind RP mm. into the Roshan. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That was the one where we gave mid one the MVP, actually. Prepare yeah. For battle. And it, Team Secret as a whole have definitely been making good arguments for their MVPs as ever since they got into the playoffs, they have been on an absolute tear. Meanwhile, PSG LGD, a little bit of weakness we saw in the upper bracket finals. A lot of talk about how their play was very questionable and inconsistent. But hopefully now that they're in the lower bracket, backs against the wall, they'll show us the same PSG LGD that managed to make it to the TI finals. Yeah, I mean, what a stacked top three that we have for the final day is... Oh, yeah. Both Puppy and Ame getting in on the fun. Blitz, what do you think about the draft? The last pick, Medusa, I know T Governor wasn't a fan of it from a, you know, let's have fun in Dota perspective, but he did say it was a good last pick. I think so too, because it continues to do what Secret's very good at, which is secure the late game, win condition, and force the enemy team to make a move. In the interview uh, with Puppy, when he was talking about the series with Gambit, that's exactly what he talked about. He said, uh, we knew they were on a timer, and that's all it is, is putting teams on a timer. The Medusa versus Sven matchup is incredibly Medusa favored. 
It's a melee hero that has to walk at her and uses uh, these like big burst abilities to start fights is Gapstorm. Nice storm bolt. They are going to try and grab the bounty rune. Not quite. Mid one was able to pick it up before FY could get there with the swashbuckle. Don't have a lot of damage. It's all very split right now. Puppy's going to be the last one out because he's the tankiest of the three. Even <laughs> thinking about going back in still. The bounty runes will go uh, two for two. And we're going to see a storm in the offlane actually uh, being tri -laned. And somebody told me once after the change to pull that it was actually okay to play Storm as a side lane hero. Yeah. Like he's ha he has high armor, pretty good base damage, mm -hmm. and now that the uh, slow doesn't just completely screw you over. Well, we'll see how that actually fares. He's a really good swash buckle from FY hitting onto two. X Nova still chasing, but now he's out of position. Is ignited up, taking a lot of damage. FY still trying to chase mid one, but doesn't want to get too close to those remnants laid out. Good uh, resistance there by him. And the downside is that your remnants will never hit. Yeah. Unless you have the pull or you have some sort of guaranteed setup stun. And because of the ignite, it's very unlikely that you actually get any kills with it. It's just going to be a defensive measure for the time being. And how'd you get these levels in a uh, try lane? Uh, I think they were hoping they'd get kills, but try laning against Sven, never a good idea here. Hey, first and there it is, X Nova. The last shot from him will secure first blood against what is Secret's usual mid player. Now playing in an aggro tri lane for them and giving Nisha and Medusa the 1v1. And the scary part right now is that you're giving me a... You're tri laning against probably the best tri lane hero in Dota right now. Like, mm -hmm. I, I think that Sven, the reason why he's so good is he's unmatched in that regard. I guess the idea is that they're hoping that Zai wins top and Medusa almost always beats all into Kor's mid because of uh, her snake. And how is that going right now? 11 and 2 for the Death Prophets, so not a great start for the Medusa. It's only 7 and 1. But it should get better as you get level 2 and level 3 Mystic Snake, right? Yes, but I mean, conceivably, if PSG LGD play their cards right, they could just straight up win three lanes. And uh, there's been a lot of questions as to how you're supposed to beat Team Secret, and this would be one of the ways. That's how TNC did it in their second game against them. Out greeting them a bit and winning in lanes? Yes. They do have the Mars versus Doom matchup at top lane, where, uh, as you said, Mars feels like he should be able to come out of top. He's just got better farming mechanisms, and uh, his physical damage can kind of wear the Doom down. I mean, you have good harass. Uh, oh, just lane. managed to get the lucky shot onto the Storm to follow up uh, with the Storm Bolt as well as this uh, ensnare. They might be able to grab mid one. They're gonna turn, try and finish off Ame as well. That's okay, but now That's they're gonna two. get X Nova as well. As Puppy's willing to dive that tower with all the armor that he's got there. I don't think Ame was too sad about dying, just being able to reset, but the fact they got two for one to the favor of Secret, it's gonna be quite unfavorable for LGD. But Nisha in this mid lane, struggling just a bit. Almost does get quite low, but only really walks it off. And this bottom lane, the Sven needs levels though. And they had to be more careful there. Ame just hard committed to the kill on the Storm. And that's where the Storm's high base armor is going to help him out a little bit. He really did trust, like, the fact, like, oh, I've got Warcry, like, I should be tanky enough, but... Oh, catching. That's the perfect hero to catch out of position here. X Nova a little bit too far forward, gets Telekinesis back, and there's not much that PSG LGD can do in return. They get some damage on a mid one, but he will definitely be fine. If anything, FY needs to be able to juke into the trees here, but Poppy just stays right on top of him. He can't not get away from the captain of Team Secret. I can't believe this tri lane is doing as well as it is. If you think about it, Storm really, you don't have a stun. You're just kind of slowing people with your nuke out. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't hit a remnant on anybody, but it's that PSG LGD continue to try. Especially onto the Storm. I mean, I guess if I think about it, Ogre plus Storm, that's not an easy combo to kill. It'd be Yapsor that you'd have to go on. Yeah. Theoretically. And how can you really get to that back line? Especially since Pango's not going to offer you the best tri lane either. He does manage to get another lucky shot proc. Fortunately, there's the Yapsir who TP'd in, but oh, maybe he really wants to go for this kill. He knows Nisha's entirely out of mana. One last Crypt Swarm will secure it. And he's got plenty of extra bits of regen, so he should be fine here. He's got uh, two stick charges as well as a fairy fire. And FY. He's going to hope for. Uh... Well, maybe not, actually. It's... 
Death Prophet's just a bit too low to go for that second kill on Yapsar. And during that time, even though the Doom, very slightly losing in CS, did get the solo kill. A little yeah, bit of a surprise crazy. there. We didn't get to see how that happened, but... I mean, the maxed out Infernal Blade, he doesn't even go for the second level of Devour, which makes the regen rate go from 3 to 8. Is there super any... value level, he just went all offense. And because of uh, the fact that he killed the solo offlaner who was doing well for himself, he's already level 6 as bottom lane. FY gonna get gone on. Warcry going out, but immediately just beaten down. FY is gonna be fire blasted to death, and Ame once again cannot protect his supports. Shaman went for the pull there. Just an absolute rough lane now. And I mean, we thought that, or I thought that PSG LGD could reasonably win three lanes, especially with the start that they had getting the first blood. Yep. They get over aggressive one too many times. Zai gets a solo kill. Mid lane is still going pretty well for them as uh, we did see the DP kill the Medusa and get the solo XP for it. But I mean, if you are going to lose a lane, the Dusa one is fine because she has a triangle to farm. And it's actually Zai that opts to skip his level of Doom right now. And it's being a little bit greedier. And this is what we were talking about, like the greediness of Secret, not forcing anything. This is probably the team that uses the least amount of smokes in the early game. Yeah. The only time I ever see them do it is really to ward. See, PSG LGD are actually going to go for an early smoke themselves. They're going to get a ward in that triangle area where they know the Medusa is eventually going to start farming up Ancients, playing the high ground here to be able to catch Yaps, or as he rotates over. Should be a pretty easy kill with the Shackles. Yapsor is going to be able to get the Fate Bolt. That'll slow down a lot of damage, but FY still holding on to the Swashbuckle. Doesn't actually hit him, but it doesn't matter. They still get the kill. Now potentially dive here in the mid lane. The Exorcism goes out, and maybe he's just going to run down Puppy inside the trees. Puppy trying to juke it out as best as possible. Doesn't manage to get the creeps to block in the Death Prophet for him. Now Death Prophet is done. Eventually they do kill Puppy, yes, but there's no way for maybe to get out. What a trap set by Puppy as he just makes a little loop-de-loop -loop around there in the trees. And this is what uh, T Governor said yesterday about Secret Style, is you don't have to make any plays. Let them go on your heroes that are just naturally tankier. They'll try to go for dives under the tower. People can just TP in at that point. That's the only rotation you have to make. You don't have to bring everybody to do so. And this is how you just slowly outgreed the enemy team. You saw LGD's two supports go for a smoke. They get a kill on Rubik. But they try to make other plays, they're denied. Their DP goes for the all-in on a puppy. Now all of a sudden, Secret is close to having top three CS. It happens in a hurry with this team, and it's so scary. Because I'm sure PSG LGD felt so good in the early run. A lot of magic damage here. Ame gonna be body blocked a bit by puppy. There is gonna be uh, X Nova finally joining the safe lane and putting some damage out, but as you said, these two heroes, specifically, the Ogre and the Storm, just seem to be too tanky. Really making it so the Shadow Shaman's high base damage, which is at 84 right now, just seems to tickle these two. Gets harder once mid one hits level six. It'll be the Rotator Force team as FY Invised up behind Yapsor, trying to make something happen, but Yapsor looks like he knows what's up. And during this time, they just continue to farm. FY sees the courier pass by, but can't do anything about it, and he just continues to waste time. As everyone from Secret continues to just farm up, no one in this top lane. Tell Yapsor really very suspicious of what's going on right now. I mean, there's no exorcism. He could run forward and just fade both the creep wave, pull it off the tower. Doesn't even bother to risk that much. It's a good thing, too, because FY was hitting right on top. In all this time, all three cores continue to farm at bottom lane. Gonna try, oh, managed to get the spear onto the Medusa, but she's super tanky, especially with the nerfed wall damage. Chalice is not gonna be able to do enough, and now they're gonna turn on to him. With the maxed out Infernal Blade, Zai can just keep on running down Chalice. And there's no real way for him to escape unless he gets a really good spear onto the Doom and survives that Mystic Snake, and he will. It's going to be a 33 HP hero getting out of the way as Puppy. Going to deny mid tower, knows that it middle tower has been denied. Really no longer belongs to them. Does mean that uh, Secret 
may be able to control this top bounty. In fact, they're all moving up here now to go for Ame. It looks like they're going to pull him back, get the Doom onto him. Now, the rest of LGD is not too far away, but it looks like they're just doing too much damage. The percentage base Infernal Blade on a tanky hero like this Mars or this Sven just looks so good. They do want to secure the bounty runes, though, and that's why Secret up here with all three. They're going to try and go for it with the Exorcism. Managed to get the lucky shot onto Doomsides, committing himself to be able to pick up the bounty rune now, trying to get out the shackles into the high ground onto the Storm Shirt, who's going to go for that kill, and the Shadow Shaman will be able to get him to slow down onto Zai. FY has another swashbuckle coming up. Doesn't need it, though. The Crypt Swarm. They want to just kill FY. That kill. They're going to try and go for FY here, as he's so squishy. The Fate Bolt's going to be enough, but mid wants a little bit low. Fortunately, he does have plenty of mana. Yapsor. He's gonna put a drain on to maybe slowing him down. So maybe just really can't pursue. This is where you really needed to be able to have that Mars in that fight. Get that arena in to make sure that Secret couldn't retreat so easily. That's what Secret does best. They just pick you off. They don't have to overcommit to kill FY. Nobody else dies after they lose their doom. And during this entire time, their real win condition, Nisha, just continues to farm. Well, Secret may believe in the Medusa versus Sven matchup. It hasn't gone their way. We're going to have another fight here as they are going to have the Rolling Thunder as well as the Arena pop. The supports in the back line are stuck the right now. Doing so much. Be able to do a whole lot. Mid one's going to be able to jump in farther. Seashell's super low. Going to be able to pull him back, and that's another death. And maybe run out of damage. FY. Another swashbuckle coming up, but it's going to be so hard for him to escape from this unless. Maybe they can actually turn with X Nova now joining. Maybe thinks they can go for it. Another good crit swarm. Managed to get the hex out onto the Doom. A big Infernal Blade hit onto the Death Prophet. Bring him low. They do manage to get a good swashbuckle in, but they're all so damn tanky. And PSG LGD, they just underestimate how tanky Secret is right now. They can't eat through the Doom. The Storm has too much armor. None of them are going to fall here from Team Secret. Maybe Ame with the double damage, but... He has no backup to lock down this Medusa. And they are so good at team fighting. Like, the fact that they got away like that, everybody was low, but they continue to just bait in and out, in and out. So PSG, LGD, they overestimate their strength. They get baited into a situation where they just can't win. They've already lost their Sven. Yep. Nisha just continues to farm. His team's doing it for him four on five. As we're gonna see here again, I, every fight always looks like it's gonna go bad for Secret, and yeah. then they just completely outplay you. And it looked like a good setup there with the the wall into the Rolling Thunder where he was just able to do a lot of damage, but they couldn't kill the Ogre. They did a lot of damage to him, but couldn't actually finish him off because he's too tanky. The Rubik dies, yes, but it was a free game for the cores of that. We do see that uh, we're going to make a dive here in the top lane where they're going to be able to pull back this Sven to cores dead at top. Secret are just totally outmaneuvering PSG LGD and out-team fighting them. Puppy doesn't care about a tier 2 tower. He'll go for the kill on X Nova to help the App Store. Three dead on PSG LGD and Secret, I mean, you said once they start winning, they win in a hurry, and we're seeing that here. I mean, it's just nothing but secret highlights. As it looks like they want to take the tier one trade, Puppy still hanging around the area. Now that the catapult's dead, a little bit scarier for maybe to commit to this. So now he's just going to back up. Three heroes from secret are around this area, and it's their uh, farm efficiency coupled with the fact that they're so good at defending their tier ones. Yeah. The one tier one tower that they did lose, they end up denying. And it's that counter puncher's aggression. Just let people come into you, uh, let them use all their abilities. You have tankier heroes naturally. Puppy loves playing these tanky supports in this draft. Let them go on him when he plays the heroes like Ogre or Abba. Yeah, like when they set up for the, uh, the bounty rune fight, they rotated four heroes up, up the top lane. They didn't try and invade, right? They lit PSG LGD run into them. FY's trying to set up right now. Goes for the Rolling Thunder with a TP in from Mars, but uh, feels like that was a little bit slow. They do manage to get the Arena Grab onto the Medusa, so it's going to waste a large part of that Stone Gaze timing. Does manage to get the Spear Stun as well. He's totally out of mana, and he's just going to get bursted down from here. Unless I can somehow stop it. A really great stop. The toss back with the Telekinesis as well. The long the long zip. Zip is going to be able to grab and kill maybe the old Scepter. He's going to be left for dead. He knows he can't survive. One last swing for mid one will do it. Challenge is just going to try and get out a Faithful. Zaps him down. FY with the Ignite as well as the Urn may take out here as well. It's going to be a close call, but managed to get to the Shrine just in time. Barely gets there in time, and they're still going to lose this bottom tower. A two for one trade. They did need to kill the Medusa. 
It just seems like every single time PSG LGD make a move, the hero they go on is is too tanky. Yes. Right. Whether if they actually kill it, like say the Medusa there, they still get into a bad team fight because Secret has enough time to rotate. And this this has to be so frustrating to play. Because it feels like you're not killing anybody on the map without some disadvantageous trade. As yeah. we see here again at bottom. I mean they try to counter rotate themselves, but the double TPs onto the tier one. Everyone was farming during this time, then they TP in. I mean we also have X Nova as well as Ame, neither of which teleport for this. Yes. And, and I feel like that's got to be a bit of a mistake, right? Like, of course Secret are going to fight for their Medusa's life. It almost feels like they were trying to do the same thing that Secret does, where they don't over-rotate. Yeah. Uh, they're going to pay for it with their lives. Hit one. Yeah, he's got to be pretty happy with that fight set up by Nisha. They are going to be able to get the Doom onto the Death Prophet, just bursting her down so quickly. The Rolling Thunder is going to be there too late. They do have their arena out, but X Nova's are beaten. Two down from PSG LGD, and they couldn't actually finish up Nisha either. So now Chalice is stuck in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by Secret Heroes. Three dead, all for an ogre. Again, it, honestly, we've seen it all week. It's just go on Puppy, go on one of these tanky heroes. Secret doesn't, they just uh, TP to their tier ones. They're like, we'll trade, we'll take that trade every day. And PSG LGD, I think the word for them is frustrated. Anytime they try to make a move, this is the result. Uh, and you're thinking to yourself, it feels like they have infinite TPs on the side of Secret, and it's because they're not trying to rotate themselves, Cap. In the early game, what real rotations did they make to try to get kills? It was just TP to your tier one, take a fight. TP down to the tier one bottom, take a fight. There's very down, there's very little downtime for them. Yeah. And they abuse the fact that you think they're so much greedier than you. You see this Medusa and you're thinking to yourself, well, nobody will fight. But it all comes down to the fact that mid one always, almost always plays one of these heroes that can tempo control and just take these early fights nonstop. He's yeah. willing to sacrifice a little bit of his farm, a little bit of his game, so that the rest of his team can thrive. And he, they gave Zaya good enough game that he can always come to these fights. He didn't need any kind of recovery time. He was just able to fight with the Infernal Blade all the time. And I, I mean, honestly, I'm just surprised that PSG LGD is not down by more. Because I feel like they've lost like four or five team fights in a row. Yes. And but that's they're because only down by 3k. Sven, his ability to farm with the cleave. Yeah. You're almost always just ahead. You have Mask of Madness. The downside of it, though, is that you need to be much more ahead than this. Because uh, I think that Medusa just hard counters your hero. I think the stone gaze is too good. Your mana pool being low makes your mana snake even better. Yeah, we haven't gotten to the point where Medusa is just really picking up on that farm rate. Now that she's got uh, the Mantis style, we're going to see a significant tip, tick up in her GPM. Yeah, and she's going to get evasion at some point. And Sven hates playing against heroes with evasion. Right. Like, that's why the Sven Lifestealer matchup feels so bad because uh, Lifestealer hits level 20, he gets the evasion talent, plus he has radiance. And once Sven's BKB gets low at all, it's not possible for him to play. Uh, so normally you want to get MKB or Bloodthorn, and Bloodthorn is so much better of an option. Bottom lane, Radiant mid one, he's just going to push out the wave, back out as they use their scan. And it's this time that they're spending, as we're going to see Secret Radiant finally smoke up. Going to rotate into mid one here. This should, that should have been a dead giveaway, as uh, mid one got bloodlusted out of thin air. Yeah. They had the successful scan, seeing that uh, mid one was retreating. Shows back up. PSG LGD do show some good restraint. I mean, it seemed like they were getting really frustrated earlier. Just constantly trying to take fights. As it is now, PSG LGD going to go for a smoke themselves. And this is a good opportunity. Seek Roshan, I think, with the double damage rune and God strength. Plus, you know they just smoked. So yeah. they're going to now split up. Uh, farm out a little bit. This is actually quite a good idea, I think. Smoking to the other side of the map. Oh no, X Nova wants to be able to save that ward, but he won't be able to uh, do it in time. The illusion does take that. It's gonna go into the Roshan pit, spot this down. They're gonna pop the exorcism, seeing that, okay, Secret have the vision. We wanna make sure we are taking this Roshan as fast as possible. They don't have a chance to be able to jump in. They will be able to grab that Aegis. Now Ami's a bit low. The Spear's gonna whip, but they do have really good Rolling Thunder. Storm's gonna be able to zip out though, just in time. Secret playing on their high ground right now while Puppy is going to try and stall out these heroes. They just throw the arena and retreat. I love the fact that they could have thought to themselves, oh, let's kill Puppy. He's inside the arena, but they've fallen into that trap one too many times. Yeah. Plus, the exorcism was running out. Sven had used his god strength. There was no shaman wards. 
It's not about having numbers in the ages there, it's about having abilities. And that's why Secret is going to go the, uh, gonna get aggressive here as they take the tower. They've got a 10 second BKB picked up on their Doom. Very good position for them right now because they know that so many big ultis are on cooldown for PSG LGD. Look at that, a very early BKB. He's so farmed right now. Insanely farmed, but also just prioritizing the, the team fight item as soon as possible. Not getting greedy with his ideas. They're gonna grab this tower for free. Very hard for uh, PSG LGD to take that. And one gets a kill on FY. Stupendous. Nice little pickoff, and you can see it started off a little bit more even, but people can see the way this series is going. Team Secret just keeps on winning these fights now, taking two objectives, but again, only up by 3k net worth. I want to keep emphasizing that because I feel like PSG LGD is doing a really good job keeping the, uh, the net worth differential very small. Oh, they've, absolutely. They've been farming very well for themselves. And it goes to show you how, like, the, how efficient the top teams are. Yeah. Because I feel like Secret, to beat them, you have to be almost as efficient as them, not wasting too much movement. I feel like that's the uh, name of the game for me right now, what they've discovered in this patch. As oh. Hyde runs forward. Um, he is by himself. Yeah. He just has Puppy with him. The other two cores connecting towards Dyer's bottom. Shows how strong he, he thinks he is. Right? Yeah, with He's the like, BKB. I've got this 10 second BKB. I can go pretty much by myself and challenge like three heroes next to a tier two, tier three rather. Positioning right now of Zai, holding that high ground area. Nisha gonna get stunned up, but... Oh, this is a top tower to defend. We're gonna have to wrap around here. There is gonna be the Doom if they can actually just get out and reset to be fantastic, but there's always gonna be that catch from mid one. We managed to grab X Nova, who turns around, throws some of his abilities. He actually had the War Cry helping him out there and was able to survive for a long time, trying to get the Spear out. Wasn't able to get the Storm as now Chalice it's just got to retreat, but mid one's going to be able to jump back in, pull some heroes out. The Rolling Thunder is going to be able to bounce around. They got the Stun of the Storm. They killed him. Now the Rolling Thunder is stunning up so much. Ame tries to go for the kill on Anisha, who runs out of mana, yes, but just survives just long enough to get the Stone Form and force these heroes to retreat. The Death Prophet dies as a result, and Secret win yet another fight. It's always a trade-off, one for two, one for three, but it's always to Secret's favor. And it looked like that was going to go so much worse when the storm dies right there. Yeah. Plus, they used the doom on the Aegis Sven that was running away. He's quite tanky. That was really weird. And I was like, what are you doing, Zion? What it really does is it removes him from the fight. Yeah. And it makes it so that he can't get that turnaround potential in secret. You see they just run in during that time. Mm -hmm. And as soon as uh, the doom is off, they run back. And if they had any other hero... They wouldn't have been able to, like, Zai wouldn't have made that kind of aggressive move, right? Because they didn't really, it looked like they're like, oh, they're just going to get back to their tier three. But thanks to having a mid one storm spirit, they always have the catch to, to follow up that doom initiation. 11 to 24, now a 7,000 net worth lead for Team Secret. These early fights, I feel like sometimes you can trade them out just because of low death timers and keep the net worth even, but... Is beginning to that's be a, a Scotty bit of a stretch. Uh, Scotty, a very another, early one. That's another item that just hard counters the spend. Yeah. And if you're PSG LGD, you have to have more urgency than this. I don't think you win this uh, game late. I feel like Storm Dusa is much better than the two cores that you have. The Doom is always a core remover as well. Double damage, Nisha with an eye on Scotty. They're gonna show up, and it's getting a good stun. Starting off onto the Mars, gonna try and blow him up as quick as possible with the Surfer's Ward surrounding, but they do have that BKB for Zai, so he can walk on through, go for X Nova, try and beat him down, but he actually just wants to be able to get out. Nisha is getting stunned up around these Surfer Wards and is a little bit low on mana right now, but now they jump in for the Storm Seer. That's why he was able to make that kind of commitment and just challenge Ame with the God Strike. No problem, they should be able to bring him down. They do manage to get the Storm Seer, though. A great silence from the Death Prophet. That is going to be the first life of the Storm and he'll be back soon. That Sven is going to throw on another Storm Bolt. If he can actually close the distance, get on top of Nisha, they can certainly win this fight. Nisha, so low, should be able to get him just a couple more shots. FY, maybe he can find him, but they do get the Fire Blast on FY and he actually dies here. So Nisha, he's going to be able to TP out. What a great turn by Puppy and Yaptor protecting Nisha from the pursuit of FY. And that's going to be a two for three. With an Aegis going down on LGD as well. I mean, if they'd gotten the Medusa, then maybe LGD could have said, well, that's that's an Aegis somewhat well spent. But I can't imagine they're too happy with uh, losing fights 
with an Aegis around their shrine. I do like this Axe pickup a lot, by the way. By the, uh, by the Death Prophet. Yeah. I think that maybe he understands he's most likely going to get doomed most of the time if the fights go the way they're supposed to. Uh -huh. And this allows him to still have some damage in the team fight. Gives you, I mean, it's, it feels like a perfect item for Death Prophet, right? It gives you good stats and everything. You see the initiation going for Chalice first because it's the hero they ran into. A very slow kill thanks to that bulwark. And the wards just stay alive the entire time. Yeah, they ended up doing so much damage. A bit unfortunate, Ame, like, he blows the god strength that just really doesn't get that much damage in its first life. But now we're gonna head back into the game where Ame is in serious trouble, but he's gonna try and fight up against Zai. And thanks to a little bit of Lance Life Seal, he is doing okay for himself. Now the man comes out from FY. Warcry going down as well. Ame just barely alive, but finally, the Infernal Blade finished him off. They still get a really good exchange there. Finally, we can say convincingly, PSG LGD did manage to win a fight, a one for three. Yeah, they needed something like that, as that's the first time in a while they've traded efficiently for themselves. Yeah. Bottom lane, the push is coming in now. They do have Serpent Ward, so they... It's a little bit tough. The Storm Sphere, it looks like he died first in that fight, so he's already back up. So they won't be able to go for a Tier 2 Tower push with the Serpent Wards. PSG LGD, I feel like they're doing a very commendable job. I think a lot of other teams would have been overran at this point. Yeah. But they're still keeping themselves in it. They're, uh... I did not think that this item was going to be so highly prioritized. An Aghanim Scepter next for Chalice. I don't think it's a bad item. It's the reset, really, right? Yeah, it's the reset of the God's Rebuke, so you could just keep banging it out over and over again. I just figured you would want a damage item first. You would yeah. want your, like, Deso or something. So I was having this conversation with Tia Governor backstage about, like, what items you really want to go Radiant on Mars. Scanning. Yeah. Part of the problem is that uh, the traditional DPS items don't really apply to them. Yes. Like Butterfly doesn't do anything for him. Uh, MKB is only good if they have like high amounts of evasion, but I don't think that God's Rebuke can miss anyways. Yeah. So then you're left with like S and Y that doesn't actually add that much more physical damage. Mm -hmm. So it really, if you really think about it, it just boils down to Deso. That's really your only DPS yeah. item that really contributes anything. So I think going for the Ags, it's either the Ags or the Deso. It's one or the other. And it will make him significantly tankier, so I'm not... Uh... I'm not going to naysay it too much, especially since he can, he's oftentimes going to be playing the front line, allowing the Sven to be able to get a better blink, God Strength initiation, and he needs to be able to create space for this Death Prophet as well. You see the smoke up from Secret, they've made their way to this tier 2. PSG LGD, they know, they're all behind Nisha right now, couldn't be more obvious. Anywhere that the Dusa goes at this point, you're going to stick behind her, because she's yeah. such a mobile hero. And it looks like uh, Team Secret felt that was not the tower to take it this time. Especially with the uh, the Roshan should be coming up soon. It's got a minute and a half right now. It's going to be a little bit of later spawn. That's part of the reason they smoked up in the first place is they went by that Roshan pit, checked it out. We're hoping for a pickoff, I'm sure. Fly actually pretty farmed right now. Has Greaves. Yeah. Has a Javelin. Trying to go for the Blink Dagger next so he can get to the back line. Both teams in a similar position here as PSG LGD. They're just farming their own triangle. They're loath to leave this area. They don't want to give up Roshan. They know that's the big objective for them. Yeah. Now in this game, getting an Aegis onto your Storm Spirit would be pretty game winning at, at this time. And getting a cheese on a Medusa is even bigger. 16 to 28, another smoke from Team Secret. You said this is a team that, uh, as greedy as they are, they don't use a whole lot of smokes in the laning phase. It just means they have more to utilize as they head into the mid game. And PSG LGD may not be expecting the second smoke as they're going to start off on Ame here. And he's so isolated from the rest of his team that it is a clear death for him. The carry of PSG LGD is down now for 70 seconds. And they're going to look for more, just kind of running out there. They spot anybody, they're likely to die, and that's why Xnova's gonna try and hide away into the trees here. Zai doesn't spot him, but there is going to be the Roshan spawning just at the right time for Secret. No buyback. PSG LGD unlikely to have a game plan here. FY is gonna try and get the Rolling Thunder off the end, and it's gonna get the silence. Oh, this would be big. Rolling Thunder is gonna be able to nab him 
him once, but now he's no longer sized, but there is going to be the hex just in time. One more hit out. That should be enough now as there's the Chalice following it up. Now if they can actually funnel him to the Roshan pit fast enough, Secret got greedy. They could have just stayed five inside the pit and taken that Aegis and Cheese. It would have been a huge win for them, but tried to get the extra kill on FY. That was such a greedy move by them. It's if you filter into the Roche pit one by one, go as five, take it. They're not fighting. Their Sven's dead. He's yeah. not going to buy back for this. Even if he does, then Secret will just disengage off of you. They're still waiting around the area because they know that the exorcism has been committed, though. That's the entire reason they're hanging around. They still want to do this. It just was a little bit greedy because you could have had the Aegis for free. And now yeah. you might have to get into a five on five fight for it. With like Rolling Thunder and Exorcism down, it's worth considering, but there's still the arena up. And if anybody from PSG LGD. I don't think you can give up Aegis Cheese right now. You would probably just straight up lose. Yeah, absolutely. So they should try and check this one out. You just see Roshan come away from that pit a little bit low. The Deuce is already so hard to kill, giving her a second life, giving Storm a second life. Now it's funny, the net worth pretty much stays the same because uh, Secret's greediness also got them. Oh, nice hex! They turn around, they're gonna be able to get the spear onto the Storm Spirit! FY, they need him to roll into that back line to trap this Storm while he's still silenced up, but it looks like they're not gonna commit for this fight. They've thrown away the arena as well as the Serpent Wars, and look at Secret, they're like, well, they used a bunch of abilities, time to go for it. No God Strength, they're gonna try and get some Swashbuckle damage in here. Ame makes the commitment, trying to go oh, yeah, for the ball. Possible, but with the ball from Yapsor, he's controlling so many of these heroes. Now he managed to get his spear drained onto the Death Prophet as well. BKB goes out, Roshan about to drop, they need to be able to finish Who gets it? Nation, solo as well. They can't afford the Nisha, get the edges, he has. Chalice gets it just in time, and Nisha, Sword Spear goes down. They need to be able to get away, Secret. Zai is just trying to run down the river right now, but maybe he's got him dead to right. Three dead on the side of Secret. Puppy going to be caught as well. They can't get away from all these blink daggers. What a win. Secret thought to themselves, hey, they don't, they can't fight us. They don't got ultimates. But PSG LGD, they had just enough. And now that mistake from mid one, it looks so much worse. Oh, yeah. That would have been your free Aegis cheese. This is what I was talking about. All it did was open up opportunity for PSG LGD to get into a five on five fight. They're taking that fight. They know that their game is probably over if they don't. That's your all-in opportunity that you've just given them for free. Yeah, they just bought a new lease on life. Not only that, but it looks like they might be able to take Rax this year. You can see they actually did have Exorcism ready to go, but between the Glyph and the Storm coming back up, it seems like maybe wants to hold on to this big one until they get a better initiation, maybe with the pickoff on the Ogre here. They'll take that kill. That was the buyback. That was a buyback. 70 seconds. Second to me, the deuce on the upcoming fight is going to be a lot weaker, and now they go for it with the guy they strength give up the top two. Absolutely. Mid one was trying to push that lane out, but it's a bit too late now. The Siege Wagon even stays alive. And maybe, apparently, just doesn't need to pop the exorcism. Best part is he could just save it for the team fight, let his Aghanim Scepter as well as his God Strength Sven do all the work. All the heavy lifting done by him. He's gonna run forward, try and get Nisha. Nisha does not get speared in. Now Chalice a bit too far forward, gonna be pulled into the tier fours by mid one. A really good stone gaze as well. So Chalice is definitely dead, but it is only the first life for him. FY meanwhile going for the back line, just trying to stop some of these heroes from saving Nisha. They're trying to focus him down right now. The arena, spear the Nisha. He's almost Nisha's dead, getting converted down. No buyback for him. Now Zai, stuck inside the arena as well. He's gonna die. He does have buyback, but only him in mid one against the exits of the death prophet. Just beating down the tier fours. All of a sudden, PSG LGD, they go from winning one fight to two to now going straight for the throne. They are gonna be able to get a storm bolt. Mid one's just trying to jump out, go for the back line, but he gets out five. He dodges the initiation, gets the X on the storm, locks it down, and mid one's dead with no buyback as well. Tier four is gone. Zion's gonna fall here as he tries to throw out a doom against the death prophet, but she just doesn't care. PSG right back if you look at the gold graph and the win probability chart i mean they just spike in the opposite direction.